Okay. All right. Ooh, that's loud, isn't it? Sir. That's, is that 100? Yeah. That, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Um, I appreciate everybody making the effort. I know it's late and everybody's ready to move on home. So let's, let's start with Senate Bill 100. Um, Chairman Cantrell, if you would like to. Thank you. <laughs> How do I get? Okay. I don't, okay, I am on. All right, I'll be extremely brief. Um, I will make one comment. Uh, two days ago, a couple days ago, Politico did a nationwide uh, survey, had about 2,000 respondents, and uh, the respondents preferred daylight saving time uh, by a margin of five to one. It was not close. So there's a definite trend in this direction nationally. I bring to you today, I talked to Senator uh, Watson yesterday. This is his bill, SB 100. Um, and uh, he knows what we're doing today and asked me to represent him because he had to fly out of town last night. But we're basically taking his bill and subbing it with the language from House Bill 44, which would take Georgia to permanent daylight saving time pending congressional approval. In full transparency, the Senate has done the exact same thing with House Bill 44 over there, and they have put the language of Senate Bill 100 into that bill. And it's uh, in rules. I presented it in rules yesterday. So uh, the game is afoot. And uh, he wasn't planning on pushing his bill because he knows the House version is much better. But I want to keep both bills alive so that uh, hopefully we'll have an opportunity to pass them, pass something uh, at the end of this session. So I, I'm asking the committee to um, to pass the substitute for Senate bill, a committee substitute for Senate bill 100, which is the same as House bill 44, which you passed out of committee a couple weeks ago. Um, Mr. Chairman, are, we're working off of LC 460478S, is that correct? That is correct, yes ma'am. Thank you. Um, if you will take one question. Sure. Thank you. I'm two. I would, I would just like to be recognized for a motion. He almost talked me out of it, but <laughs> <laughs> I'd hate to do that. Um, Mr. Scott McGregor, if you'd like to take the podium. And I too will be brief. I'm Scott McGregor. I'm here representing the Augusta Metro Chamber of Commerce and Textron Specialty Vehicles, which y'all may better know by their one of their sub brands, which is uh, EasyGo or Jacobson Lawnmower or Arctic Cat, um, which is based in Augusta. Uh, both of them just have asked me not to speak so much to what y'all are about to do regarding um, subbing the house language, which is not really problematic given that our friends across the river in South Carolina have done pretty much the same thing that y'all are looking at doing in that language. But the, the Senate language that was is currently in SB 100 is extremely problematic for anybody who lives in our community. Uh, there's a lot of ruckus going on about it right now. If you ask some of your members from, uh, from my area um, about what they may be hearing from home, you might hear that they're getting a lot of phone calls. And I can tell you that the people at the chamber and, and local industries um, and the people who are globally networked with the rest of their companies that are based in Augusta have some real concerns about what the existing SB 100 language would do. So we would support y'all doing the change. Um, and hopefully as we move forward, we end up with a result that works well for everyone. Thank you so much. We Thank appreciate you. that. At this time, I will entertain Representative Duke's motion to do pass by committee substitute and second by Representative Camp. All those in favor say aye. 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 Is that aye. that sounds like everybody on the 
on the Zoom call. Thank you, everyone, and we will see you. Thank you, committee members. See week. you Monday. Thank you. Okay, Senator Summers, if you will bring to us Senate Bill 222. Uh, thank you, Madam Chairman. I didn't have a copy of the bill with me, but it is Senate Bill 222. We're working off LC 500190. And thank you for allowing us to get on the docket today. I'm sorry about the short notice and getting back to you and I apologize. But anyway, this is a simple bill. The Georgia Pecan Growers Association have been trying to get Georgia to have a state nut for a long time. And I had several over in the Senate. I could have used their names, but I just, you know, we, we've stuck with the pecan. I just want to let you all know that. So the bottom line of it is, is the Pecan Grower Association. And down in my area in South Georgia, which starts my Senate district is as big as the greater metropolitan Atlanta. I got nine counties, about 350, 400 miles around my district. So it's, it's quite huge, but we are, pecans are being planted I, I don't know how many thousands of acres and Representative Noel Williams can probably attest to it. It is, it is quite the pecan area in South Georgia and Georgia is number one in pecan production and we need a state nut. And that's, you know, they want the pecan to be designated. And I'd appreciate the you know, favorability of the uh, uh, panel here to move it forward, if you don't mind, madam. Thank you. Um, who's number one? Oh. <laughs> Representative Camp. Hi, Senator Summers. Thank you so much. And thank you, Madam Chair, for allowing me to ask this question. Growing up in Dublin, Georgia, which is middle Georgia, we did not call them pecans. So I just wanted to clarify, some people in the state refer to them as pecans, correct? Well, you're exactly right. And, and, thank and you. I, I've asked the definition on many different cases. Now, now, the Chairman Mullis would call it a pecan. And I said, well, that was with two E's, so you better do that by yourself. But we, we go with the pecans, if we say the ones that you sell, and pecans are the one that we eat. So that's, that's how we sort of classify it. But thank you, Mel. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not touching it. I know. I'm leaving it alone. I, I, I'm at this time, I'll entertain yes, a motion. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. And, aye. <laughs> and my Zoom people, is that aye? Did I hear? I think so. I'm aye, and the, yes. And the motion carries. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you to committees. Thank you all. Okay, and we are adjourned.